Look, I was, I was pretty, pretty stressed there for a while, and I was, I was you know, I was, I was pretty angry actually. And but now I'm, I'm, I'm sort of settling in, uh, and and things are going a lot better. Yes, Nathan seems a lot happier and focused with his studies. He's handling his workload and class is much better. Look, first semester I found a particular struggle. It was, it was pretty difficult and it was, it was really frustrating actually. I, I had a lot of trouble and I thought I would just, I'd just drop out. I'd just give it all away. Um, reading at university was, was, a, was a big deal and everything at uni involves reading unfortunately. Now, uh, reading slowly wasn't so much of a problem, but when it came to reading quickly, I'd, I'd, I'd jumble the words and every, everything would just come out a mess. Uh, <laughs> you can pretty much forget if I ever had to read anything out aloud or, or do a presentation. Early last semester, I set an assessment task. Each student needed to select a short passage and read it aloud in front of the class. Nathan's speech was definitely not of acceptable standard. It's not just reading that I struggle with, it's also writing. And what makes perfect sense up here in my head, when I write it down on paper, it doesn't quite come out the same way. It's often sort of jumbled and a bit of a mess. Now, uh, I'm a little upset recently because I had this big, important essay and I got a really bad mark. Uh, which was, as you can imagine, pretty upsetting. And was, to make matters worse, I just sort of got feedback from the lecturer in the margins just saying, you know, check your spelling and, and try harder. So, it's, you know, a bit upsetting. <laughs> uh, it, to make matters worse, when I, when I get stressed or tired, uh, it, it really confounds the situation. Well, the first I knew about Nathan's situation was when I received an email from his tutor. He was, um, he outlined some unusual behaviour during one of his assignment presentations. I remember thinking maybe this student is just lazy or having a joke or something. I wasn't too sure what was going on with him, but I do know he did not pass that task. I let his lecturer know about it. I wasn't sure how to approach the issue, so I contacted the student um, no, campus, campus Wellbeing. So registering with, with Campus Wellbeing for support was, was pretty straightforward actually. Um, they, they gave me the option of, of keeping my whole situation confidential if I wanted to. And just the fact that, that I could keep it confidential was, was really reassuring. Some students who receive support choose not to disclose this information to their lecturer. In Nathan's case, he's okay with his lecture knowing. Anyway, uh, after, after organising the support with Campus Wellbeing, uh, we met up with my lecturer and we talked about a number of things and, and reasonable adjustment. Well, I understand it's not my role to know the details of each and every student in my lectures, but it is my responsibility to make sure that they receive care and support, um, a referral for instance, or reasonable adjustment to their assessment items. In Nathan's case, with an adjustment, we allowed him some extra time to read through the text. I did sit down with the tutor and we devised a couple of alternatives, but it was, it was no great imposition. Also, when I'm creating a task, I look for what he is seeing rather than how he is seeing it. I look for actual content, not so much grammar and spelling. Look, it didn't impact very much on my teaching or my workload. Nathan's got a note taker in my lectures and he seems to find it easier to read text on blue paper. So Campus Wellbeing organised a note taker for me. It's a, it's a, a student uh, who comes to my class and they help me you know, take notes and keep me up to, up to speed with my work. Um, it's, it's, it's actually really useful because they don't give me an advantage as such, but uh, they just keep me on the same level with the rest of the students, which, which really helps out. So I've also got the option of, of using technology to, to support me uh, and help me out reading. Um, 
there's this is a great technology which uh, which I can use at the moment. Which uh, what it does is it reads out each word and highlights it as I go along. Um, now I've been using this uh, for a little while at home, but uh, a lot of the computers here on campus have it as well. So it's, it's great for support for me and, and lots of access as well. Oh yeah, the screen reader technology is so amazing. I'm so glad that Nathan was comfortable enough to seek out the help from Uni Support Services. It's really helped him. It's so much easier for him to read. It reduces the pressure of reading. Yeah, just just thinking back, um, initially I, I was fairly apprehensive about asking for support. I, I think that I, I didn't need it. I didn't want it. Um, and I thought, no, no, no I'll, I'll be I'll be fine with this. We we can get through this. But as it turns out, I, I did need a bit of help, and I'm, I'm really thankful that I decided to, to get that support. And I was really grateful that it was available to me. I think it's important that we work together for Nathan's benefit. You only need to look at his more recent assessment to see how much he has improved. So I got, I got this really important essay back recently, and I got a great result. It was probably my best result uh, to date so I'm pretty happy with that.